made of crinoid or crinoid. You see the star-like shapes absolutely covering the rock. Nice hill bosphorus ammonite example. It seems to have split fairly decent. Let's have a look at the ammonites that were inside. Wow, look at that! It's a beauty as well. Looks like someone's probably hit it here. And for whatever reason, maybe left it, but definitely worth bringing back. And that'd be very nice. Yep, a lovely pseudo. And look at the colours of that. What lovely. So I just picked this little rock up here and I've given it a tap because there was an ammonite chewing on the very edge here and look what's just been revealed. Gorgeous looking keel. Assuming it's a gramosphorus because it's the same type of rock. Wow, look what has been revealed. It's a beautiful ammonite inside here. I think if I do not this, it might come loose, so I'm going to risk it. There we go. This could have gone really well, or it could have gone horribly. I haven't checked yet. Let's look together. Well, there is a little bit of damage there, but I don't think that's too bad. I just messaged my friend who's been collecting here for a lot of years and I've showed him the picture and asked him, and basically asked him if it was worth me trying to crack this bit off and he said no, it's probably a very rare one, probably a Horgia, although I'll get that confirmed when I'm back. So I'm going to take it back as one piece, I'll take the negative as well and hopefully, like this I think, no, like that, there we go. This piece here that was a little bit sticky, just this tiny bit will be prepped back on and it's going to be an absolutely cracking fossil for my collection, a very rare one as well.